super nice. Hopefully this means good luck. Howdy y'all, welcome back to another video. And if y'all know, I'm not doing a live stream this Friday, but I'm not gonna leave y'all hanging. To celebrate Lunar New Year, I went ahead and purchased some slimes from Momo Slimes, one of my favorites. So let's go ahead and take a look what I got from Momo Slimes. I got three Lunar New Year themed slimes and then two slimes that I've just really wanted for a while now. If you haven't seen before, a Momo Slimes order comes with a squishy and then also some slime care instructions. And it also had some borax. I threw in this activator pen. This didn't actually come with it, but I threw in the activator pen just so that I had something just in case. So everything was bubble wrapped as you see. We've got Year of the Dragon. We had a red envelope to go with the add-ins for red envelope. And I got Money Tree. Kirby's Mochi. Momo Chew. Not gonna lie, I thought this said Ho Ho Chew. <laughs> so first we have red envelope. I heard this one smells like money from Sin Slimes. It's not bad. Ooh, it's a very chewy, like a thick and glossy. And the add-ins come in this, it's super cute. Hey, we actually got some coins. I don't want those to get messed up, so. Red envelope. Oh, wow. Super, super thick. Really poppy. Look at that. Like, wow, this is really pretty. If you like a super, super thick and glossy, like poppy slime, this one's for you. To me, the scent isn't like off-putting. I've heard for some people it was, like it was too money smelling, but to me it smells fine. Nothing too crazy. Man, this one is just so poppy has a good resistance, but you're still able to stretch it out. That's nice. The color is gorgeous. Super poppy, y'all. Bubble. Overall, solid slime. Definitely love it. I do have like some little bits and bobs like this. Um, that's from when I pop them, but they come right off, you know, whenever you use the slime to get it off. So just a heads up there. That also happens with Momo Slime's um, Susu Watari Completo. Um, that also used to happen, so. But this one is definitely a yes. Next, let's do Money Tree, because it's a Bingsu. This is a clear Bingsu slime. Just realizing that there's no, um, there's no add-ins. Oh, it looks like the add-in might be already inside. So my big thing with this one, 
Um, this reminds me of, so whenever the new year comes around, when I was a kid, my mom would tell us that we would have to put coins in our pockets and jump around, you know, to help, you know, support um, good luck and that we'll have money in the future and that this year we won't have to worry about money. So this is definitely a nostalgic thing. <laughs> That's what it reminded me of. So let me know in the comments if y'all had any um, traditions when you were a kid or just little like superstitious things that you would do. Wow, this is really pretty, especially in the light, like the greens. There's green and gold inside of this. It's a clear Bingsu. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Super crispy and crunchy. Let's see as it inflates and gets bubbles in it, whether or not it gets sticky. Wow, so far, not sticky at all. It actually feels kind of coated to me. I don't know if it said that it was a coated Bingsu, but it feels coated. It's not um, sticky at all. Super nice. Hopefully this means good luck. <laughs> Yeah, it's completely inflated now and it's not sticky at all. This has to be a coated clear Bingsu. Super nice. Really good pull. The scent. Hmm. Not sure what the scent is, but it's not super strong. Overall, I really like this one. Even now, not sticky at all. I did not put any um, activator on my hands before this. I really recommend Money Tree. This was a really, really good Bingsu. Year of the Dragon. I had to get this one because this is a jelly with lava rock. So I definitely wanted to try this one out. And it comes with this really pretty charm, dragon charm. So let's see. Mmm, it smells really yummy. But look at that. There's like gold flecks inside of the jelly. Ooh, I'm really excited for that. Here is the dragon charm up close. Really pretty. Put them in the center. Really nice. Super pretty. So I'm Year of the Monkey, which is supposed to be really compatible with Year of the Dragon. So here's the hoping for a good year, y'all.
I love the idea of this because the rocks kind of remind me of like the dragon like growling and the jelly coats the rocks really well. So if you're worried about it being too pokey, this is definitely really nice. It smells so yummy, like some kind of candy, like strawberry candy. I think that's kind of what, it kind of smells like those little strawberry candies that we used to get when I moved in Japan. I guess nowadays people associate them to old people. If y'all know what I'm talking about, they look like little strawberry candies with like the, the wrapper was like a strawberry with the green on top. Let me know in the comments if y'all know what I'm talking about. This is super nice. Not too pokey. No fallout got glitter everywhere. <laughs> it's not sticky at all, which is really nice. Momo just always knows what she's doing. <laughs> Love the sound of the rocks. Even once inflated, it's not sticky. And even with it inflated, you still get some good crunch in there. So really, really like that. No, money tree. I hate whenever um, the inflation starts to drift down. I don't want to ruin the label. Definitely a yes. Not least, let's do Kirby Mochi. I really wanted this one because it looked really realistic, like actual mochi. Whenever, ooh, whenever you put the powder on it. So let's let's make it nice and round, nice and soft and round. And you actually get cute little Kirby's. And you get some powder. And then you're supposed to kind of sprinkle the powder on top so that it looks like an actual little ball of mochi if you've ever had like mochi ice cream look at that oh that looks so good I'm gonna save this I didn't use all of it that's really cute it's not sparkly nope I think it's just cornstarch Right. Oh, it feels so soft. Ooh, 
this is really soft. Oh my goodness. Oh, the smell is also like really, really nice. Almost kind of like a creamy strawberry, like strawberries and cream kind of scent. Oh my goodness, I can't get over the scent. It smells so good and it's so soft. This is the perfect mix to make a mochi slime, I think. So nice. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna run out of space on my desk. <laughs> Cause this is nice. Oh no. Boop. I bet it inflates a bit too. Yeah, this is definitely mine. <laughs> this is a favorite. This is going on to my Momo Slimes favorite shelf. Y'all have asked for, you know, some collection videos. So I definitely think that I'll um, start to record some of those, like maybe like my OG slimes collection, like of my personal favorites, as well as maybe like my Peachy BBs one. <clears throat> I can do a Momo one, Blue Slimes. Look at that. Look at how whipped it got. Y'all, it's so soft. It's like squeezing melted marshmallows. And it's so sizzly. That's so nice. Oh, I really like that. Oh, it's still poppy. looks like dough. Y'all, this is so nice. This has to be one of my favorites from Momo. I'm so happy I got it. <laughs> it's like a soft, like, souffle. Look at that. 10 out of 10. I love this one. Absolutely love this one. To wrap it up, let's do Ho Ho Chew. Wait, it's Momo Chew. <laughs> it just looks like an H, but it's an M. Momo Chew, like Momo Slimes. So this one I got because it's supposed to be a lychee chew. And I love lychees. And yes, it smells just like the lychee fruit, which is so yummy. Look at that. I think this is the same um, texture as red envelope. Oh, it's actually harder. Like it's very, very chewy. 
You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of their lychee gummy where it was like very hard to pull, but as you worked with it and warmed it up, it ended up getting like really, really nice. Ooh, oh yeah, this reminds me hardcore of um, lychee gummy, also from Momo Slimes, which is one of my favorites. But you just have to know, you know, what to expect. It also may just need to um, deactivate for a little bit because it is very stiff. I could go get my glycerin. It's definitely poppy. Oh yeah, see, as I'm warming it up in my hands and like really working with it, it's getting stretchier. So I know with some glycerin, it would have stretched out quite a bit. I think it's just really activated for um, travel. Look at that. Bubble. Just like Red Envelope, just like Red Envelope, it's really, really um, poppy. So if you like a really poppy slime. You can see now it's definitely stretching a lot more and a lot easier and faster. So don't be discouraged when you first get a slime if it's not exactly how you envisioned it because sometimes they have to activate it quite a bit so that whenever it gets to you, it's not deactivated. And depending on how close you are to the shop, it might be overactivated. So now I'm able to pull and stretch it quite a bit. And it's starting to get really, really soft. Look how crispy. Super nice. Super, super nice. Let's try one more time and do a press test. Super poppy. I also love this one, even though it needed to be loved just a little bit, because I'm very partial to lychee scents. <laughs> it's very nostalgic for me. Okay, so slime summary. Which one was your favorite? Let me know. So my favorite of the three um, Lunar New Year themed ones would have to be Money Tree, just because, I mean, it was like a coated bingsu, a coated clear bingsu, and it was so good. It was so amazing. Definitely love it. Look at how inflated that got. Um, so definitely love this one. And then of the other two, Kirby's Mochi. Oh my goodness. One of my top favorites, I think, from Momo. So highly recommend these two. Um, if you guys are looking to purchase from Momo Slimes. But yes, 
please let me know in the comments which one was your favorite and also let me know if you have any Lunar New Year stories or memories that you want to share. Um, I definitely would love to hear them, especially because usually we have a live stream and I would have loved to do this on live stream to hear in real time y'all's stories. Um, but yes, please put a dragon emoji if you made it this far and don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Also, we have a slime fund. So send a super thanks if you would like to support the slime fund so we can purchase more slimes for reviews. Um, as well as, I just appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.